so much in my personal life with my business. And also, you know, I, um, since I was like, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. All right. So I, um, I wasn't always humble, uh, to be honest. I, there got to a point that I, uh, when I became like famous and I was like 17, no, I was like around 20. I thought because I was famous that nothing could touch me, that I could do whatever I want. I was treating people bad, to be honest, until my family literally came up to me and was like, listen, wake up. All right. You're this girl. You're not better than anybody else. Like, and then they, 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 I lost a lot of people. I lost a lot of friends. And that's what made me click. I think. Like people, the more real and relatable you are, the more they're going to like, you know, relate to you, like you, like support you. Because I, that's what, that's who I would support. I like people like Cardi B. She, she speaks her mind, you know, yeah. she doesn't care. She eats all the time and on her life, like with her hands, all like oily. I like that. And because we're really used to a lot of people being like, oh, so perfect, the models and everything. And then, you know, I'm just like, listen, I have so like, listen, like I, I can, like when he, when the guy looks at me, I look this way. Sometimes when I, when he looks away, I show my stomach, you know? So I try to, I try to explain to people that like, it's okay. Like, you know what I mean? I have the same thing that's going, because sometimes people put you in a pedestal, like she's famous. She can't be this. She can't be that. And I was like, no, I'm exactly the same. I am no different. And that's very important. And that you, and I believe that too, which is very important. I did not a long time ago, but I believe it. I am, I am in the, I am not famous. I'm, I'm just me. So, and that's who I am. I feel like nine days i've been doing a lot of stunts i think it's because in middle school i really wanted friends and like my friends they were like the mean girls i remember this girl her name was christina and like she she was like make us laugh make us laugh you know and like to make us laugh i, I didn't really know how to talk in english so i'd be like doing stuff physically so i would fall mm -hmm. i would do this so it got stuck to me and i actually became really good so then I learned how to do it without even getting hurt, you know? So I incorporated that in my vine. I do it because I feel like physical comedy is international. You don't have to know the language to mm. understand it on videos. That's why I like it a lot. Since Vine, been videos that I've filmed, I get it, but it cuts too soon. Mm. You know what I mean? I've had that, but definitely no, because I usually have two cameras. I've learned from my mistakes. There has been. This is a really good place for people to feel open to talk about whatever they want to talk about. Since I did that on my documentary, you know, I talked about something that was very deep that I didn't feel comfortable. And then once I did, I didn't feel so alone. And that's what I want people to feel, you know, once you talk to somebody, once you, even if it's anonymous, nobody will ever know who you are. That's why it's so intimate when it comes to podcasts. And I wanted people to come talk to me so they can feel, you know, more relieved or like get that thing that they had off their chest because it's, I think it's important. I think <laughs> Uh, one of the crazy secrets was this this guy who uh, accidentally um, slept with his cousin. At the end of the day, um, it was it was a mistake. You know what I mean? Like it, like the the fact that he fell in love with it wasn't intentional. You know what I mean? He it's not that he knew that she was his cousin and then she he did it. He he didn't know. You know? And I wanted, I was I was trying to talk to him so he can feel a little bit better, but it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in therapy for so many years um and I I know when like you know I I I have many exposure therapy practices I know sometimes how to how to when I when I have a problem how to kind of manage it how you said over the years now that's one thing but I think I drink my pills con like every day it's like a religion you know and then also I have therapy I get I I take I like take I see my therapist twice once a week you know, just to keep up, even if nothing's happening, nothing bad. I just want to always, you know, catch up, tell them what's happening, you know? And, uh, I think that something that's helped me a lot has been that I've been very active, like, like doing exercise, doing hobbies that I like watching movies, you know, staying, being with my friends, being in, in a positive scene. And that has helped me a lot, especially now in quarantine. Yeah. Um, yes. Thank you. <laughs> you know to be consistent to know that mornings are sometimes the best time to post mm. according to me for me you know mornings also make sure to collab 
it could be collab with like friends, do stuff, um, be authentic, be original. When you post, do stuff, post stuff that you like to post, not stuff that just to get likes, you can tell, you know? Um, and another thing I can say is just do things because you really like to do them, not because you want to be popular or famous or have, or get money. Obviously we all need money, but just like hmm. do it for the right reasons. People will follow you. People will see you for that. And I love that. And because you're really passionate about something, you should go for it. These questions are great. But if you ask, like, if you ask something personal, that's like a new thing for me. So I'm like, ooh, personal mm. question, you know? Everybody has been there. It just, have you ever had music that just like kind of like you listen to it and then you go back in time? when you're yeah. a little heavy music some, sometimes like i want to be that i want to be that that like i want to make that music that when like people actually grow older be like yo i remember this, when we, when i was listening to this song it was so good it was such a good time like, i remember i was in here quinceanera in the car blah blah because blah. music is such a historical thing it sticks to you and i want to be a part of that and i think that it's just so it's it's just like music has always lived with me. I love music. I love music since I was like little Shakira, and that inspires me. Just knowing that one music or one song is gonna it's gonna kind of touch someone's life. Because I can tell you a couple like songs that have touched my life, you know. And to be if I can at least to one person do that, it's it, you're part of their lives. You 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 made history in their lives. So I love to make to to create music. I even honestly create or listen to it i don't care music compare each other but what i do is is there and then this is for people that actually compare themselves a lot say this is there a girl whose name for i'm gonna say it to myself is there a girl whose name is lele pons has a dad named luis has a mom named anna who has started on vine then actually got um you know signed by shots then after that went to instagram trap went to YouTube, went, was born in Venezuela, has family from, I do that. Mm. No, there is nobody. So that's it. You can't <laughs> compare because you didn't come from where I, you know what I mean? You yeah. didn't go through what I went through and you didn't, you know, you don't know the people that I know. So there's no comparison. You're your own person, you know? So yeah. at the end of the day, and also I do too many things to be, I have like, in the music world, I could, can be compared, but they can be compared with me in this world because I do social media and they, they can compare in the world of podcasts because I do podcasts and those, you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, it's just too many things. People can oh. When I start feeling like, oof, something's coming, you know, because uh, when you're very high, remember, this is a, this is a swing, very high, you're mm. going to get to a low, you know? So when I'm like starting to be really, I'm like, wait a minute, just stay here. You know, like I'm really excited, working, working, working. Remember, you're going to crash. So I, I usually stay right here, you know, too good like that right here. So I, when I'm, when I'm, you know, when I see myself very overwhelmed, I'm like, oh my God, I just come back here where like, where I'm stable, my family, I get a break for like a week, a weekend and I'm good. Oh. Like forever. It was Jerome. Jerome Jarrar, something like that, uh, Jerome, and I, I was such a fan of him, and I actually was like, hey, 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 follow me, follow me, follow me, and then after he followed me, I collabed with him, my life changed as well, so mm -hmm. I know how Im amazing it is to read comments, these are all lives of people, random people, you know, just imagine, this is all lives, so if you can at least one second like or something, or comment back, you're making their lives, God knows what they're going through, you know, it's changed my life. <laughs>